It's lunchtime and I'm doing a twist on a recipe which I've been using for years. In fact, we featured it as one of our very first Buff Dudes recipes and those are tuna burgers, which since we've been doing it for years, you know, we really enjoy it. It's very easy and we went ahead and made it even easier because when we did the vegan and the carnivore diet experiments, there was one thing I learned from both of those and that's that the people that are vegan, the people that are carnivore, they really try to prioritize just using one ingredient. So if they get something from the store and it has more than one, two, three ingredients, they're probably gonna avoid it. And in the store, you'll see things like breadcrumbs or mayonnaise those have a ton of ingredients, a lot of them unnecessary, and a lot of them we used to use for our tuna burgers. So with this new version, it's easier, it's very tasty, and try it out for yourself. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. So let's get started. A great little DIY for the breadcrumbs is just using some breakfast cereal. As you can see, I'm using some rice cereal. We're gonna go ahead and pull it into our large bowl. And once we pour it in, we're gonna go ahead and mash it up, buff dude style. There you go, as you can see. About the consistency of breadcrumbs. So next, we're just gonna go ahead and throw in our tuna. And finally, it's gonna be avocados. These are an amazing substitute for mayonnaise. And of course, again, it's just one ingredient, that being an avocado as opposed to many for mayonnaise. So let's put it in, let's mash it up, let's get everything all mixed together. And as you can see, I cubed them up. So I took a knife and I just cut them into little tiny squares. That makes it much easier to mash it in with the cereal and the tuna. Everything's together. Now we're gonna go ahead and mash it all up. Everything is all mixed up, and now we're gonna go ahead and begin to form all our little tuna patties. Now, you can either put this on your oven top, if you got like a cast iron pan or a nonstick pan, you can do it right on your oven top, but we're gonna go ahead and bake it. We're gonna go ahead and do it for 400 degrees. We've got a little cooking stone right here. We're gonna grab some parchment paper just so it doesn't stick, and we're gonna begin forming our patties. All our tuna patties have been formed, so now we're gonna go ahead and go outside. We're gonna be baking this on our pellet stove. We're gonna do it for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna eye and check on it every once in a while. The thing is, we want them to look golden brown. That's the goal here. So if you're cooking them on your stove top, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing. Cook them until they're about golden brown, flip them, do the same thing, then you're good to go. Let's get baking. So I checked on it at the 20 minute mark. It wasn't quite ready, so I'm gonna check on it again at the 30 minute mark. Oh yeah, those are ready, nice and golden brown. So we're gonna go ahead and take them out, let them set for a minute, and then it's time to eat. We've given them a few minutes to cool down. They're ready to go, and now we gotta do the taste test. Mmm, that's good, super. So the judge approves it, and if he approves it, that means the Buff Dudes approves it. So, hope you enjoy the recipe. It's less ingredients than our prior tuna burgers, but even more enjoyable in my opinion. So, I'm gonna eat mine, and if you end up making this, let us know. Tag us on Instagram at Buff Dudes Food, and you can always check out our website, buffdudes.us, for a whole bunch more recipes. So until next time, stay buff. Mm -hmm. stay buff.